Hello, welcome to this Excel 365 video. We're going to go over the filter function and how to input multiple criteria for the filter function, as well as making a lambda function to simplify the inputs into the filter function. So we'll begin. Uh, this is table. This is a table called data table. So I'm going to do a filter on that filter data table. And the second input into the filter is the column that you want to use. So we can define the name like data table 2023 population like that. And we can say greater than 100,000. Or you can use the choose columns function, choose calls and data table and which column you want. So one, two, three, four, comma four is greater than 100,000. So I, I prefer using the tables so that we can directly put in that table header name. Um, but if you're not using a table, you may want to do it with this choose columns method. The third argument in the filter function is what to return if nothing is the result of the filter just so you don't have an error and let's apply that. So you can see here we have the results where the city's population is over 100,000. Let's go ahead and make that over 10 million to uh, reduce the list a little bit there. Okay, so now let's add a second criteria. So I'm going to put this first criteria in parentheses and then the second criteria is going to be multiplied by the first one and also in parentheses. So we'll do data table country equals in quotes Japan close quotes and hit enter. So there's two Japanese cities with population over 10 million. Okay so let's see how we can do a condition where only part of the string matches. We can do it, but we have to use the search function. So I'm going to delete this example we had and I'm make a new one here. And we'll do search. And the thing you want to search for, let's say all countries with the word united in it. And then you give the column of the table. So data table uh, country. close parentheses and now if this search returns a number that means it found it and if it returns an error then it didn't find it so we're going to put another function in front of this which is the is number function so if this again if this finds something it'll return a number and if it doesn't it'll return a error so this function will return as true I think I'm missing a closing parenthesis here and then we'll hit enter. Let's try to lower this to 1 million. Okay, so we have these cities with over 1 million population with the word united in the country name. All right, so how do we do an or? This is and. Next to this one, we're going to do plus country name Japan. And we're going to say we only want to see Japanese cities with over 10 million population. So we'll do data table population greater than 10 million. And closing parentheses. So we have if it has the word united in it and it's over 1 million, or it has the it is from Japan and it is over 10 million. And we'll hit enter. So we have our two Japanese cities and then we have all of our cities in countries with the word United in it. I mentioned we we're going to use a Lambda function. Anywhere where you're using multiple functions to accomplish one thing is a good candidate for where you can go and replace that with a Lambda function. And then you just save that Lambda function. You can transfer it to your new worksheets and you can use it over and over again. So what I'm going to do here is go up into formulas, name manager, and I'm going to create a new name here. And this is going to be our Lambda. 
So it works like a user defined function and we'll call this filter criteria. You can call it whatever you want, but the way you're going to use it is type in equals filter criteria and they will perform whatever this function is that you set up. It's a lambda function. So you begin it with equals lambda. Then you input the inputs you want into this function as variables. So my first variable will be string, the string I want to match the criteria to. And then the second input will be the column that I want to compare it in. And then once you finish the uh, variables that you want to pull in, after that comma, you begin the function that you want to use. So we can just duplicate this whole thing that we had typed out there before is number search and then string is what we want to search for because we're going to pull that in as the variable. And then where are we going to search? And we're going to search in, and for this I'm going to use the indirect function, indirect, and we're going to say data table, opening square bracket, close the quotes, and the column that they define. We should probably call that header. I'll call this one header just to make more sense. And quote, closing square bracket, closing quote, closing parenthesis for the indirect, and then closing parenthesis for the search. So now, if it is a number, it's going to return a true for this filter criteria function. And I'm missing one or two parentheses still. There we go. Okay, so let's try and replace some of this. So I'm going to delete out this right here. And I'm going to put filter criteria. And the inputs are string and header. So the string I want to look for is, let me delete all this. The string I want to look for is united. And where I want to search for it is country. And I'm going to delete all of this. But maybe you want sometimes to use an exact match only and not a partial match, but you just want to keep using the same criteria here. So we can go and edit our filter criteria and we'll just give it another argument here. And an optional argument you can put as in square brackets, we'll say exact. And let's say there are four arguments for this that you could put in one, two, three, or four, um, or let's do zero, one, two, three. So zero would be an exact match. Let's do one as uh, less than, two is greater than, and three is going to be a partial string. Okay, so you can use the choose function here, and we're gonna choose exact plus one, because we're gonna start with zero. If they leave it out, it'll be uh, zero, which choose will be one. Choose has to start with one. So we're going to do choose exact plus one. And if this value is zero, the next thing after it will be uh, what you want it to do if the value is zero. So for this one, I'm just going to do the indirect and the data header. Oops. Indirect and take Oh, here's a little hint for you. Um, when you're in these windows and you hit the arrow key, it's going to mess up your formula like that. So if you hit F2, it lets you uh, use the arrow keys. All right, back to that. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put some extra spaces here, and paste it here. So if they put zero as the input or leave it out, it's going to do indirect of the data table header equals the string. And then if they put one, it's going to go to this next, next option, which will say, let's do less than so we'll do the same thing but we'll do less than the string comma and we'll paste it again and if the argument the input is two we'll say that's greater than the string and then the last one will be three which will be this is number search okay and these extra spaces won't hurt anything i'm going to click i need to put one more parenthesis
we have no inputs because our filter criteria is wrong because without the argument here it's looking only for an exact match so I'll try comma 3 and you can see the partial match is returning there let's try something like the value of 100,000 and we'll say 2023 population and we'll do less than which we made as one do less than 900,000 and there you go basically we just replaced the multiple ways of doing criteria with one lambda function and that's just an example of how you can use lambda functions anyway that's it for this video so i hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it and i'll see you guys later bye